Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be playing a game that I wanted to play for a very very long time and that's called Black Desert Online. This is the remastered. Now I'm not using webcam just because for today I didn't really feel like doing one and I just thought you guys might enjoy this game a lot better me without me <laughs> in the way but yeah. Um, the only thing I know so far about Black Desert is that it is an MMORPG. Um, it has one of the best graphics in the game. I am playing on remastered graphics right now. And it has like a really amazing character customization, but didn't want to show you guys the character customization because honestly, I probably spent like 15 minutes just making my character. I kind of, I forgot already what my character's class was, but she was the character that can use a bow and also like fight melee at the same time. Like a, kind of like a ninja, I don't know. I didn't pay too much attention to the class, but she looks cool. So let's just see. It kind of showed a mini cutscene, but then it cut off. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen or not, but. Mm. So let's just read. Let's just think about us. People are always familiar with their work. So this is like a Black Spirit. I've played a little bit of Black Desert Mobile. So I kind of start to know what this thing is. Some things might be similar, but yeah, let's see. Main quest. I just started this game, so. The start of an adventure. You seem better. Are you okay? I was starting to wonder whether I had chosen the right host. What's with that look? Don't tell me they remember me. You promised you would. Well, that wouldn't be that much of a problem anyway, so your memories will return soon enough. Hee <laughs> hee. There's someone waiting for you over there. I'm going to hide now. Go and talk to that person. The start of an adventure. The Black Spirit told you to talk to Eden standing nearby. Um, also, I kind of lower the game settings, but I'm going to try to... I kind of want the game music just so you guys can hear like the ambience at least with the noise because it's pretty beautiful. Okay, accept. Okay, thanks. This is what I look like. My character looks like. It looks pretty cute. Quite proud of my work. A lot of things I was kind of a little bit surprised was the hair animation and like the clipping with the bow, but. Overall, I think she's pretty good. Oh my gosh, the graphics. I'm gonna clearly look at my second model that I'm recording this, and oh my god. The graphics. I'm a sucker for graphics, so like good graphics, and especially now that I can run good graphics on my computer, it makes me so freaking happy. Unfortunately, I'm only playing a 30 day trial with this, so if you guys want to see more um, video content, let me know at least whatever I can capture. So, this is pretty much like my first time playing. Ooh, look at that. When I zoom out, that was like, I kind of, <laughs> damn, I am, I'm probably going to love this and I might end up buying the game eventually, I don't really know, but it's super freaking cool. Super freaking cool. All the graphics, the details, honestly, this game really, really shows its name because a lot of people did say, hold on, I think I can double jump. I'm just trying to double jump. I, I definitely watched, I watched like Lazy Peon trying BDO with those videos like one five years ago, but I remember he kind of said he could double jump, but he was playing as a ninja, so I'm not sure if that's class based. But I love how she looks like the graphics, the detail, like how her like face changed with the lighting. Ugh, so good. Alright, sorry, I'm getting carried away. Um, wait, what is this? F E. I love that she actually unshethered her weapon. I love that she literally unshethered her weapon. But as you can see, she is both like a melee slash bow. Oh my god, the detail. That literally looks ballistic. Holy frick. Okay, girl, can you, can you, can you, can you stop? Can you put your weapon away? Ooh, another combo. Hold on. Oh god, I can't do this. Can I do this? W. Ah, that was, that's a lot of combos, I'm sorry. Probably can't even do this right, but... I did like the detail that, like, she actually unshethered her weapon. I really like that kind of like, detail. Both in movies and, like... Like, because if people do that in movies, I mean, come on, they, like, unsheth your weapon. And that they do this here. Amazing. Alright. Let's get to this guy. Oh. Wait, what's the... I think it's R. Okay. Ooh. Are you really an expert? You don't look like one at all. Well, I've 
Investigated ruins across the continent. I study ancient artifacts. Everybody says they're experts. What could you possibly do by yourself? Huh. I didn't come here alone. I'm with an ancient language what? expert you and some quality go. excavators. Oh. Hmm. He looks really cool. You stand before Princess Direct. You must mind your... <laughs> I'm sorry, adventurer, but I can't really trust you with a job this important. Return where you came from. Hmm. No, thank you. Hmm. Money. Look, oh. I discovered this gemstone in the Valencia ruins. It was verified as authentic by the Imperial Court. My goodness, isn't this a gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power. I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Hmm? So is this something that Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the Stone Chamber investigation now. A fortnight. That's how long I'm giving you to figure it out. Huh. It'll be much sooner than that. <laughs> Time I wonder what exciting wire, discoveries we'll find inside the ancient stone chamber today. I can barely contain my excitement. Whoa. I heard the Whoa. <laughs> I heard the rumors, but this princess is impossible to please. Oh, are you feeling better now? I am a ruins explorer. You can call me Aiden. I say you're finally awake. I'm Aiden the Explorer. <laughs> the Explorer. <laughs> like Dora the Explorer. I discovered you knocked out cold over there and brought you here. Okay, cool. What's that? You are asking me who you are? Well, this is awkward. A child who does not remember anything. Yeah, that's kind of funny. You look lost and confused. You're right in us, near the ancient stone chamber to be precise. I don't know what happened, but you're safe here. So pretty much both on Black Desert Mobile, you also kind of like awaken. I'm pretty sure we also went to like a stone chamber from what I played. I've only played a little bit. But cool. A traveler who does not remember anything. Well, this is awkward. I wonder what we will discover about the past in the ancient stone chamber. I'm so excited my heart is pounding. Okay. Allegation. I thought you were gonna be you were an adventurer or a mercenary. I know you weren't a farmer because you weren't dressed like one. Well, no shit. We're wearing a bow. You have entered common. We're wearing a bow and we also have two daggers on our hilt. On our hips. Hilt? No, that's not the right word. On like our hips. That we're carrying. So yeah, no shit. We're not a farmer. Uh, I'd like to help you recover your memories, but I'm swamped with work at the excavation site. I'll be on my way. Cool. Mm hmm. The stone chamber? You seem quite interested in it. Why don't you examine the ancient artifacts that were discovered there? Okay. You're in Belenos, at the Western Guard Camp, to be precise. I don't know what happened, but you're safe here. For now. I wonder what we'll discover about the past. Okay. Um, okay. So I have our quest. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit at least of the gameplay now. Come on faster. You just take a moment to like appreciate the graphics real quick. I hope this video is not gonna be too long. I'm definitely gonna skip some parts just because I don't want to bore you guys too much with just pure gameplay and like storytelling, but I also want to show a bit of gameplay like the combat. Okay, hold on. Oh, was that wait, did we just dodge? I have another combo, but like, that's just, that's so many combos to do. I can't process that many combos. I was kind of hoping that we can aim, because like, we were literally using a bow. Hold on. That, that poor thing just got sliced in half. Ah, yeah. I know this is not a really good thing way to level up. Hold on. And it's kind of it's, the controls are just a little bit difficult because um, I'm literally using my mouse to look around. I'm not really used to that in games, but I do like it in certain games because I can like look around more easier. It's more much more easier for me to control. So I'm like looking around with my mouse, literally just like looking around. And my right, my left click ability is like this ability, and then left click I do this dodge thing. I guess it's like a dodge, I'm pretty sure. And I have chosen. You can actually choose how you want to be guided to quests, and I chose um, 
you can have like an arrow for sure, but I chose like a fairy to guide me. So I think I've been slicing people for now. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna update you guys once I'm done at least a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Once again, I muted myself, but that's fine. But basically, um, I'm here finally doing a little kill quest just so I can show you guys a little bit more of the combat because it does look pretty cool and it's really smooth. And I guess that's what like a lot of people love in this game. Okay, just trust me. And this thing actually does get like bigger and stronger like the more that you level it up. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm. I have better gear in your inventory. I think I press I with this fire helmet. Please don't look bad. Sometimes some of the gear is definitely not good. So basically I can Ooh, it's a level. Just look how slight we're just slicing and hacking everything. Okay, we have more HP, more I think called the weapon power. I don't know. But Okay, so it actually shows how to use our abilities. Okay, so we press S. Whoa, so. Okay, Carver is called um, W and Shift. Whoa! Oh, wow. Okay, you can have Mayo Anticipation when you have plus both of them. We have wait W and Chase. Oh, uh, okay. This is like a dash. This is like a dash, and then we do this. Sorry, hold on. Oh! Then this is like a dad double. Wait, okay. Sorry, I kind of wasted my power because I wasn't able to. Okay, hold on. Damn, the finish one. Okay. Oh my God. Epic. We still have two more to kill though. Let's try to kill these two. Okay, W. I'm actually quite glad that it shows. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Okay, weight limit. Okay. okay, it says suppress RMD, but I'm gonna try to use this. This is how you call the spirit. Just trust me. Call me in time by pressing this. Yeah, this is this is what I use to call him. Main quest. Oh wait, what? 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 I thought I already did the quest. Hold on. To view grave boxes, but I did. Heh. Oh, do I have to go back? Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, so let's try to use the dash thing again. Huh? Oh. I thought I thought that in the Lord of them. So earlier I showed you guys a little clip of my character walking just because I was so mesmerized by the fact that you can climb. Like, I don't know, this might sound like really weird, but I'm a sucker for this type of stuff. Where I can like climb and like really feel like I'm immersed in the game. Like my character can climb and I think that's really freaking cool. Oh, she just rolled. Okay, wait, who am I supposed to talk to? You? No. Wait, what was she? What was that? What was that? Oh, uh, oh, she moves like this when she's walking side to side. It's pretty cool. That's a lot that she's climbing. Oh, another gray fox. Another oh, gray wolf. Look at that wolf. He's like. <laughs> we have another gray wolf. I'm so glad that they're not attacking me. Like even if I'm so up close and personal. Probably like mates or something. I don't know. I don't care. Don't think I care about myself. You have entered a combat zone. Oh no. So I'm kind of a little bit lost, but I'm also just trying to enjoy the game. Like it's full potential. I do not want to die. 
Okay. We're assuming I have to speak to this guy. How we got here. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you for taking care of the troublesome foxes who kept stealing the workers' the belongings. They say it has stories of the ancient. Well, what can we do? There are orders from Princess Jurette. But who are you again? I want to press those Jurette's mercenaries. One second, guys. Uh, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the audio. It's making it quite loud for me. Okay. Have you heard about the statue at the end of the chamber? They say it has stories of the ancient. Okay, it's much louder for well, me now. What can we do? Okay. There are orders from Princess Jurette. Okay. This is the ancient chamber. Strange. Can't remember how we got here. Do you think we can trust Ethan? This is the ancient stone chamber. The at the end of the chamber. One of the Belenos' rooms. You can look around all you want, but please, and no silly behavior. Can't remember how we got here. Explorers. Ah, you meet Eden and those people well, he brought. What can we do? We'll They're find them inside the cave. The cave is right here. The soldier said that Eden is inside the cave. Went to the excavation the site to oversee Eden's chamber. work. I don't understand they why they're so dedicated. You may understand that profession does well, not pay well. Do do? Do okay, buyers in the same shit. <laughs> why walk around so leisurely like a turtle? You can press shift to sprint. Well, what can we do? I mean, I know how to sprint. I relearned that. You ninny. Not a thorn, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my god. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the details in this game? Look at that graphics. I'm literally like watching this on my second monitor, so I'm seeing what you guys are seeing. Because, oh my god, I am just mesmerized by this game. The beauty and the detail and how the camera works like that is, oh my gosh. I could praise it for hours and hours. Oh, and actually this little, I think this soul is like showing me where to go. I'm assuming. Okay, what the hell? Oh yeah, actually I remember that. This was actually in, during the mobile version as well. These things, they actually awaken later on. Like, yeah, big spoilers, but that was quite obvious. Sprint! Yeah! Sprint! That is because even getting into sprint. Oh. Well, now I know that she can fire her bow, but why would you do- Oh my god, wait. You see that detail on the floor? Oh my god. This looks super realistic and so smooth. And I just, I'm just loving the way I can move like this with my arrows. Just like my mouse. Ah, it's so good. I'm loving this so much. Okay. Let's speak to Mr. Eden. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's how you speak to a person, just freaking kick him. The crush. Must be destiny that brings you here. The beginning and the end is the same. I don't understand the statement. Mm, wait, maybe. Move towards the light, even in the darkness. Hello. What brings you here? It seems like you're fully recovered now. Did Princess Jurette send you here? I had no idea it was this urgent. I wonder if Chamberlain Jordan. Never mind. Yeah, Princess Jurette seems like a real bee. But she's just so rude. Hmm, I understand. We'll do our best work to pick things up. I think you should leave now. Excavations are always dangerous. Yeah, obviously. Gradually, experience will show you the way. Okay. Hello. Wait, are you already planning to go back? We're not done here yet. Let's take a better look at this mysterious ruins. Yeah, sure, Spirit. Let's take a real look. Do you feel that? The artifact is trying to pull us closer. It feels like it's from ancient time, but somehow it feels very familiar. Awakening. Traces of Edana. The Black Spirit detected a weird energy flow from the relics, but behind Eden and is the deepest part of the ancient Rustone chamber. The Spirit has felt a sense of disharmony and urged you to investigate. Yeah, sure. You're gonna see what I really sensed. Y'all are about to see what I truly sensed. <laughs> Sorry. Just from like other games that I've played, like F is usually the interaction, so I'm not used to using R. Eden the mysterious explorer, an ancient artifact in the chamber. The energy emanating from this ancient artifact and that of the black spirit feel very similar. Hmm. I wonder what could that mean? I wonder why is that? 
Anyone have a guess? I'm being sarcastic, by the way. See for yourself. See, see, this little piece of shit just became a strong. Remember, my friend, I'm Aiden. <laughs> yeah, what a nice thing to remember. I'm feeling better now. Thank goodness I was worried that I might have been too late. It looks like the Black Spirit has found a new companion. Have you experienced any hallucinations lately? According to the excavation team, there's a high possibility that these artifacts contain black energy. I heard that even the chief of the imps, Red Nose, stole one of the guys' artifacts from this place before. It's true that those of the black spirit gain immense strength and an extraordinary sense of awareness. But unfortunately, most of them succumb to the darkness and lose their sanity. Ooh, we gotta recover five energy and we have um, a consumable? Cool. Must be destiny that brings you here. What do you want to know? Experience will gradually reveal the way. Establishing rapport with Captain Cliff. I'm concerned that Red Nose has changed both physically and mentally. This will also be your fate if you choose to continue your journey with the Black Spirit. That is why you must train yourself not to be completely consumed by the Black Spirit. If you head down to the stone chamber, you will cross you'll come across the Western Guard camp. You can find Captain Cliff here. Oh, and on your way, why don't you try defeating the Grey Wolves and Three Spirits? They are one of the Western Guard camp's many problems. If you do, you might be able to accompany the captain to see Red Nose. Okay. Oh, my friend. My name is Ian. <laughs> Ian said you might be able to win the trust of Captain Cliff if you clear out the trust of Three Spirits on the way to Western Guard camp. Okay. Move towards the light and in the darkness. So again, I'm going to pause here just so that I can kind of show you a little bit of the combat just because I think it's really beautiful. I think it's one of the best things about this game. I definitely know a lot of people love it because of the combat animations and how smooth they are. I really enjoy myself so far. So I'm going to insert some combat clips in a little bit and I will talk to you guys a little bit later once I progress a little bit with the storyline. So.
Okay guys, so I kind of showed you a little bit of combat. Now let's try to get into the actual lore. As you can see, we have our little black spirit friend though. Ooh, now it looks a little bit different compared to when we first saw him. And he does get bigger eventually because now we kind of like unleashed one of his powers. It's pretty much tricked us, I guess you could say. I wonder why they had such a hard time dealing with them. I wonder why they had such a hard time dealing with them. They're so easy to defeat. Who's those? He didn't think we are. As you can see, he's like literally. <laughs> he's like, who does he think we are? Anyways, don't mind what he said. He, <laughs> don't mind what he said. He, he. You don't need to continue following. You need just need to continue following as usual. Okay. I like how he's like we, but then again, he's the one telling us that we have to follow. That I have to follow. Well, I care has to follow him. It's kind of like what the actual fuck. Okay. By the way, don't you think Red Nose is a cute name? I want to meet him. Aww. That is actually- <laughs> It's like a child. Let's do some warm-ups- Uh, let's do some warm-ups with the imps nearby. Call me at a time we're pressing the key, okay. Um... We have an enhance- Oh yeah, we have- Basically, he can enhance us. But we'll show him a second. So, how do I find my companionship? Always full of excitement, right? I mean, you're cute, so. It's just the beginning. You can't even imagine what's ahead of you. Till then, I've got your back, and you've got mine. Hee <laughs> hee. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got mine. Here, I prepared a little something for you. <laughs> Black Spirit is proud of the hard efforts you are showing, and wants to give you a gift. Let's receive the reward from Black Spirit. I purchased an enhancement, right? Um. Yeah, I purchased an enhancement. Okay, let's see. Again, the main quest. Hey, I have a great idea. Do you think this is enough to win the trust of Captain Cliff? Do you want to meet Red Nose as well? Why don't you get knowledge on all? Why don't you get knowledge on all the tree spirits and let him know more about them? I can hear the voice of giant tree spirits just down below. What do you think? It will be great help for the Western Guard camp. Okay. Now the small tree spirits complete. Do you like the gift I prepared just for you? Inventory expansion. Aw, thank you, Black Spirit. Okay, he does enhance our weapons. I don't exactly remember how, because it's been so long, but he basically can enhance our equipment. But it's not important to me right now, see? Look how he just disappears. Learn about the mature. Okay, let's just take a look at our inventory. Composure ring. I don't know what that is. Classic box. Ooh. So there's a lot of gear that you can get, a lot of stuff. Ooh. Hold on. Oh wow. Ooh. Damn. She looks freaking cool. Like I love the armor previously she had, but damn. Freaking damn, dude. game was pretty damn cool. I just, I'm just really enjoying myself so far. And I hope you guys are too, because I find this game to be just absolutely beautiful visually, and I've had a lot of fun playing combat, playing with the combat settings. I just love climbing this game, and like, if you saw my character, she was about to fall off, and now she was like holding on the ledge previously. I think it's so freaking cute. I just love details like that where you can like really enjoy the world. I love that it rains in this game and I really love how it's blurry. So no wonder why a lot of people absolutely adore taking screenshots in this game because honestly same. And look at that. Like when you're looking down, she's also looking down and like ugh, it's so freaking good. Damn boobish though. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this game. And it's how it like zooms in, it's like you're an actual camera. Oh my god. I am loving it. Ooh. Is that a Zeppelin? Just, can we take a moment to appreciate the visuals? Can we take a moment to appreciate the freaking visuals? Because hot damn, is that a beautiful shot. I think there should technically be a- there probably is like a high UI for- for a game like this, it has to be a high UI thing. Because this game screams screenshots, literally. Not performance, camera performance, weight display, um, screenshot. 
Okay, so it even shows you like current resolution, 4K resolution, 8K resolution, JPEG, PNG, BMW, watermark, opacity, watermark size, watermark location, watermark region. So much detail. Effects, display quality game window, journal setting, show hide. How do you show hide UI? That's kind of what I want to know, because I mean, I don't want to like take a screenshot. Hide UI when attacked. Wow. I don't think anyone has actually attacked me. Oh, uh, UI hotkeys. Show hide cursor is control. Although when I did click on the control button, it actually, my character instantly just like has the controls. I guess it's probably like unnecessary information, but I am trying to take a look, okay? I am trying to learn. Gamepad. Oh. Chat, my information, skill. I was kind of hoping for like a hide UI kind of option. Maybe yeah, just don't see it yet. Just kill ideas, hotkeys, reset camera, move camera. Where's the hide UI? Come on, there's UI mode lock. Gamer interface. Use gamepad UI. Um, I'm gonna just take a look. If I find one, I'll let you guys know. Okay, I found it. So basically, um, the control is hide UI. And you guys can see my mouse, I'm kind of like a little bit dumb because I did turn off the cursor. But basically right now I am moving the mouse um, across the entire screen. But as you guys can see, my character is not moving because if she was moving, you'd see it. But if I press control, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry, it's kind of a little bit difficult sometimes changing monitors, but as you can see, immediately I'm using my mouse and you can see her moving. And when I press control, you saw that, you see my cursor, it was hidden, and then when I'm moving it across the screen, you guys clearly see that my, the, my mouse is something else, but when I hide it, like, I can instantly control like this. So freaking cool, and then to hide UI, you press control and U, there we go. Look at that. If the Zeppelin would have flew over, it would have been so beautiful, but... Okay guys, so I know that this has been just a little bit. I don't want to make this video too long. This is pretty much almost 40 minutes of gameplay already, but... Oh well, what can I do? What can I do? But so far, I am just having such a blast playing this game. Honestly, I have to admit, I didn't think... Yeah, wait. Can you not? <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry, I wanted to hide them. No, but... Basically, I really do admit that this game is really freaking beautiful visually. Like, it really- What the hell are you doing, woman? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Why? Also, damn. But I do have to admit, she is- I guess it's because if she's like hiding the UI, I guess it's like supposed to be for a screenshot making. I don't know if that's the default, but oh well. Anyways, I can definitely say so far that this game is really freaking beautiful. Like, the graphics are just wow. I am running this on the remastered, which is like pretty much the highest graphical setting that you can run this game on. And visually, it looks freaking beautiful. Everything has been smooth so far. There's no lagging. I do hope that my video is also not lagging. <laughs> I'm looking at my second monitor where you guys can see on OBS and everything looks just like it's supposed to be. Like, I don't see any lagging, no nothing. Um, I do have to say it's really freaking amazing and really freaking beautiful. I just don't know why she does that. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's because I did hide the UI, so I'm, I guess that's why she's doing it. But I do have to admit, this game is really freaking beautiful. I had so much fun just watching enemies being sliced. And I hope you guys did too. But I also really enjoyed just the things that I can like climb. And when you guys saw that she was on the ledge and she was like about to fall off and she was like, oh. Oh, that's really cute. That's really freaking cute, but I am just really enjoying this so far. And I hope that you guys also enjoyed this video. And if you did, do let me know if you'd like to see another BDO video. This was just me kind of like trying to get it out for the first time. Just the first few couple of looks at it. I didn't want to make this video too long. And I kind of just wanted to skip a little bit so it's not like too linear and too boring and kind of have both the quests for the story and with the characters. So if you guys would like to see more content and like more video videos, do let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!